Yeah, come back to our mathematics class. Today is the continuation of the basic operations in other bases, in which I'm going to be talking about multiplication and division of number bases. Today, specifically, we'll look at the multiplication of number bases. Now, example one evaluate 1101 multiplied by 11 in binary number. So we have 1101 one, multiplied by 11. One. So we undergo our number our multiplication. This is in base 2, which is binary. And don't forget, if your number is up to 2 or above this base 2, we are going to undergo the number operation we did in addition and subtraction. So let's move on. 1 times 1, we have 1. 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 1, 1. All these values are now up to 2. 1 times 1, we have 1. 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 1, we have 1. So the next operation is to add. So we had in base 2. There's no number in here. You take this one down. One, 0 plus 1, we have 1. 1 plus 0, we have 1. 1 plus 1, that is 2. It is up to the base 2. So we say 2 goes in 2. We have 1, remember that 0. So we write your 0, carry that 1. There's no number here. We have 1 here. 1 plus 1, we've carried here. The same 2. 2 divided by the base 2. Gives one remainder zero. We write our remainder zero. Then there's no number again. You write your one in base two. Example two. Evaluate 321 base six multiplied by 25 base six. Three, two, one multiplied by five, two, base six. Now let us multiply. Five multiplied by one. We have 5. It's not up to base 6. We write the 5. 5 times 2, that is 10. It's above 6. That is 10 divided by the base 6. 6 goes in 10. We have 1. The remainder, 4. Now we're going to write our remainder, which is this 4. You carry your 1. So we're going to write 4. We carry 1. 5 times 3, that is 15. 15 plus 1 you've carried, that is 16. Is above 6. 16 divided by 6, that is going to give us 2. That is 2F. Remainder 4. Remainder 4. So we write our remainder 4. Then we carry 2. So we write our remainder 4. We carry 2. Now, there's no more number here. So you put your 2 here in the front. Now we want to 2. 2 times 1, 2 is not up to 6. We write 2. 2 times 2, 4. It's not up to 6. We add 4. 2 times 3, that is 6. It's up to 6. Divided by that 6, which is the base. 6 goes in the base. In 6, we have 1 remainder 0. So we write our remainder 0. We carry that 1. There's no more number here to multiply. You put your 1 down. The next stage is to add. Don't forget it's in base 6. There's no more number here. You take your 5 down. 4 plus 2. That is 6. It's up to your base 6. Then 6 divided by your base gives 1 remainder 0. You write your remainder 0, carry 1. 4 plus 4, that is 8. 8 plus 1 you've carried, that is 9. 9 divided by 6. 6 goes in 9. We are going to have 1, remainder 3. Here, you write your remainder 3 and you carry your 1. So let's write our 3, carry 1. 2 plus 0, that is 2. Plus the one we've carried, that is 3. 3 is not up to 6, you write your 3. So this one, take it down in base 6. Example 3. What is the total age of 122 base 7 girls whose average age is 21 base 7? Express your answer in base 7. What are we saying here is, what about the total age of 122 girls if each of them is 21? Yes. So if each of them is 21, then how many is going to be 122? So that is multiplication. That is 
one and twenty-two multiplied by twenty-one base seven. So we have one times two. That is two. It's not up to seven. You write your two. One times two. That is two. One times one. One. They are not up to the base seven. Two times two. We have four. Two times two. We have four. Two times one. We have two. Then we add it up. Add it up. Two. 2 plus 4, that is 6. 6 is not up to 7. 1 plus 4, that is 5. Then you have your 2. So base 7 years. So this is how to apply the multiplication of other bases. So in our next class, we are going to de be dealing with as division of number basis before then if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly do so and click the notification bell for my subsequent content uh, for our usual member thank you very much i see you in my next class